Afternoon, Dave here. I'll tell you, it's hotter than a popcorn fart out here. It's beautiful downtown Stockton. It's supposed to be 104 today. And it, we get a little breeze through the Carquina Strait. It's the only thing that keeps us normal. But, got the stairs up. And uh, I've been thinking about different things and what I'm going to do. And I've come to the conclusion, after coming up here, you're kind of out here in the open. Meaning, there isn't really... I made the staircase with expanded metal. Everything's open. So, if you are afraid of heights, This might not be the place, so, so uh, yeah. like I said, I'm winging it, how I'm going to do my handrail, and I uh, finally came to the conclusion, this staircase is not going to have handrail, not as such. Now, back last century sometime, I went to uh, Moaning Caverns. It's up here in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas, beautiful California. And they, uh, it's a cave that uh, kind of has a sheer drop. I'm not sure exactly how deep it goes, but uh, you go down a 150 feet, uh, 200 feet, or something like that. And what they do is they have stairways and tunnels you go through until you get to this big cavern. And then they have a spiral staircase. And you and then uh, they usually have about 35 people in a group going down. So you'll have about 35 people on the spiral staircase at one time. Now, the the center post is bigger than mine. But my, my staircase probably can't get more than two people, three at the max on it at one time because... It's not that, you know, it's just not long enough to get any more than that. But but the one at Monin Caverns, you get 35 people going down. And um, I looked, inspected the wells, being a fabricator and welder and all that. And I uh, talked to the people. They said it was produced in 1921. Now, in 1921... Um, arc welding was a relatively new process probably only a couple decades old they were doing it but what they were doing I believe in 21 was what's called bare electrode they didn't have a coating they hadn't got to that point hadn't invented it yet and so they welded this whole thing up with bare electrodes and I guarantee you I inspected the wells uh, I was very curious about it and I'm gonna say those guys knew what they were doing they did a good job now I when I went in there uh, I can tell you it was could have been back in the 80s no no I it was the 80s I went in the 90s also and so it had been um, supporting <laughs> groups of people all those years it was tested. It worked good, and uh, and the wells looked good. I was I was surprised at how good the wells looked. Now, in in my career, I've uh, went into people who took different rods and and made it do things that uh, they said it couldn't do. But I know those people back in the beginning, beginning of the last century, who were the pioneers and and uh, uh, learning how to electric arc weld. The, the oxyacetylene was, was probably a, a decade or two before arc welding. And uh, they, they uh, got it together, they made it work. And I'm assuming in the beginning it would have been uh, probably blacksmiths. Uh, and they had a uh, understanding of uh, metal 
which which I'm gonna say I uh, is probably mostly lost today and uh, so the, it's probably understandable that they took a process that the electricity would cause a puddle melt the, the wire and and even though you uh, would have spatter and, and uh, I, I would think there would be some contamination, some uh, porosity, uh, atmospheric contamination, but uh, they controlled it, did it. I looked at them, and man, they did a good job, and it la it's been there, well, this is 2021, this will be their 100th anniversary. Uh, I was telling my neighbor, I, mean, I, I think I may uh, go back and visit them on their 100th anniversary, but... Uh, Back to what I was saying. What I what they did, you know, you can understand if you've got a, a spiral staircase that goes a hundred feet vertical, hundred feet. You got to do some uh, serious safety measures because uh, this is a family park, and and uh, kids and grandmas and everybody goes up and down it. And what they did, instead of building building handrail, which you can see, these are the tops of mine. I, calculated out it should be 36 degrees and I lay my handrail on top of it but they built a cage instead so that you're actually inside the spiral staircase and they they laid wire on the outside but they had uh, pipe and 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 uh, stuff to structurally support the outside so what I've decided is that's what I'm gonna do here I'm going to make a cage because uh, you are out in the open. I mean, it's just nothing there. And once I get done with this, with the uh, expanded metal deck up there, it's like, you you know, in a way you can think you're walking on air. And uh, if you're uh, afraid of heights, it, it might be a, uh, a uh, puckering situation, shall we say. Well, just thought I'd share that with you. I'm uh, moving forward starting to build my deck supports up there so I could put my first expanded metal deck up there and then uh, I'm gonna have to build a handrail all around it and uh, we're coming along good all right talk to you later Bye.